What do Jamarcus Russell, Ryan Leaf, Johnny Manziel, Bobby Schmurder, Roddy Rich, and Iggy Azalea all have in common? They belong to a crew we have collectively labeled as failures or talented people who couldn't live up to their full potential or maintain massive momentum in their respective fields. They are draft busts, one-hit wonders, and fall-offs. And as a society, we are fascinated by them. Look no further than the YouTube videos and listicles all over Google. But could our way of treating talented people who don't sustain be unrealistic, deeply flawed, and ultimately damaging? In music, there are hundreds of thousands of people who have the talent required to become stars, but it just never happens for them, often due to no fault of their own. Know all this, why do we fail to set these talented people up for success? Why don't we prepare them for a future that has nothing to do with superstardom and wealth? And wouldn't it be better if we taught people to pivot from the get-go so that we can save them the downward spiral of addiction and craziness and depression and all these bad outcomes we constantly see in the tabloids? Let's face it, not everyone is going to have the storied career of a LeBron James, Mariah Carey or Tom Brady. Many people will either have decent success where they can make a good living in the middle of the pack, have one huge spike where they can never repeat it again or fail to make it into the greats. These parts are a lot more common than we care to believe. Being a one hit wonder doesn't mean you have failed. In fact, it's something someone can leverage to make a ton of money and gain influence that can be applied to the next great opportunity. Even if the media calls you a failure, you're not. You're actually someone afforded an opportunity many only dream of and you can actually do a lot with it. The author of The Psychology of Money, Morgan Housel, talks about the fact that human beings don't often account for luck and the role it plays in those extreme success stories. Music and elite sports are a good example of this. Many careers and songs are the definition of lightning in a bottle, something you just cannot replicate twice. Roddy Rich is a great example of this. The box was such an extreme success that it would be hard for him to get that bigger hit again. And again, that's okay. Anything he does will always pale in comparison to that song. So yeah, technically it is a fall off, but it's not a failure. He's been, if he's been able to make money and invest it, he shouldn't need another hit or high selling album to stay, well, rich. In elite sports, it's the same. Ryan Leaf has talked at length about his own struggles when he basically went from a top draft pick to flame out in spectacular fashion. His whole identity was built on becoming a superstar. And when that dream started slipping from his grasp, he had a huge downward spiral, prison stint included. You can't help but wonder if things would have turned out a whole lot differently for him if he had been taught from the beginning that dream number one might not work out. Think about this. When people get drafted to the NFL, NBA, MLB, they are just at the beginning of their 20s. In the real world, most of us don't have our careers figured out by then, and many of us have had to pivot from what we studied to what suits us better or where luck, passion, and circumstance have led us. As an athlete or a really talented musician, you've spent your whole life being told that you would be this big thing in that particular field, so no one ever prepares you for the alternative. It might lead you to not develop any other skills or stop you from developing yourself emotionally, thus setting you up for disaster if and when the door to that path is shut in your face. You could suffer an early career ending injury, you could end up on the wrong team, or you could discover that you have the physical talent but not the mental toughness to make it. You the identity crisis, the downward spiral, and the desperate attempt to maintain the image of success or relive former glory. It's all just sad. And it could have been avoided if we taught people that there isn't just one path to success, but many. And if we learn to pivot, we'll never be failures unless we stop trying. The ability to pivot is key, and we've seen many people do it successfully. Labeling people as busts and fall-offs ignores the fact that we don't often get the success we initially envisioned for ourselves, and that should be okay. When I was younger, I wanted to be A, a fashion designer, or B, a pop star. And of course, I didn't end up becoming any of those things because it takes a whole lot more than talent to get there. It really is a luck and right time, right place kind of game. 
but I had plenty of options and alternatives and I love the path I'm on now. I may have quote unquote failed at that initial dream, but I'm not a failure or a flop, but someone who just realized that there isn't just one way to succeed, that if you learn to pivot and write your own destiny, you can create a great life. One of the things I hated about growing up in my culture was how quick people were to label a kid a failure just because they weren't good in math and science. And often people would give up on you and the failure label would become a self-fulfilling prophecy. I consider myself a very fortunate anomaly because I grew up in an environment where I was shown what I was good at. And even though it wasn't the typical things that everybody else was good at and things that could lead to a quote unquote successful career, they were really good things and they are what I do today. And if it wasn't for growing up in an environment home wise and school wise, where I was shown that my path had a lot of potential in it and that it could lead to a valuable career. And I am not underestimating the fact that I've grown up in this era with the internet, with marketing, with social media, which has opened a lot of doors for people. But that proves my point. If you don't make it in the traditional career path of say an NFL player or a doctor, there's so many other things you can do. Like the road is wide open and the opportunities are yours for the taking. You just have to be courageous and creative enough to think outside of the box. Oh, as we celebrate this fresh crop of rookies, let's keep this in mind. Not everyone who walked on that stage is going to live up to the hype. Some, I hate to say this, are going to be busts. A lot of them are going to fail to measure up to all the potential everybody said they had. Yes, I'm looking at you, Mel Kuyper. Um, <laughs> I want to live in a world where people are not defined by their failures, but rather by how they overcome them. And I just want for all these athletes, the ones who end up not living up to the potential, to know that there is something good waiting on the other side of the failure and the fall off.